Welcome to this uh, video. In this video, I will demonstrate how to import data into WordPress from other uh, sources. Other sources actually um, in recent time, what I did is I brought some of my old articles uh, into this website sidestreet.com from SA learning school.com So I recently bought all these uh, short notes from this to this. So I'll just uh, show um, how I did it. And also I had an uh, ebooks directory. The website address in the past was ebooksarchive.com I think the domain name expired I brought all the articles from ebooks archive uh, all the stuff into sizetree.com I can see books in the book section. There will be an online books. Subcategory. And you will see more than 2000 books. I think it's links to more than 2000 online books, free online books. Just tap links. And if ebooks e archive, it doesn't, uh, it no longer exists. I just did not renew it. Hmm, looks like the internet is pretty slow. And by the way, this is Ontario, Canada. I primarily do consulting, consulting with technology, software development, management. So this is me. You can see links to my blogs and uh, YouTube channels. I think this video will also be posted on my YouTube channel youtube.justetc.com Yeah, that's what it is youtube.justtc.com okay it looks like okay in this process um, I will actually use some WordPress plugin called WP all import it's a nice one and there is a free version and um, paid version free version was enough for me uh, to do the import importing and to give an overview I think uh, uh, you can initially initially import the file 
एस सी एस बी फाइल और एन एक्स एम एल फाइल या एंड दैन यू कैन फ्रॉम दैट फाइल कॉन्टेंट यू कैन क्रिएट पोस्ट और क्रिएट पेज प्रोबली यू कैन ऑल्सो इम्पोर्ट एंड क्रिएट कैटागोरीज दैट आई टू सेव द प्लग इन हैज द ऑप्शन और नॉट बट यू कैन क्रिएट पोस्ट और पेजेस बेस्ड ऑन दस अपलोडेड सी एस बी फाइल और एक्स एम एल फाइल आई थिंक फॉर वन ऑफ दिस आई थिंक फ्रॉम फॉर एक्स एल लर्निंग स्कूल डॉट कॉम और फॉर when i uh, wanted to use the csv originally there were only 2000 or 2200 uh, entries but it looks like uh, csv when i was trying to csv import it was showing me probably some 5000 entries or 10000 entries uh, i'm not sure i think it, it probably was uh, depending on the content of the csv file probably it was not well formatted but using xml it actually um, actually helped uh, i think it probably i did not see if there was the option for json yeah json could also be an alternative i have to see first of all i think from the ebooks archive or from slearningschool.com where i initially exported the data they have to have the option to export as a json and while i'm importing it has to have the option json i believe json uh, should be there yeah in terms of exporting from the data source it is there for sure i have to see if the plugin i used is there or not yeah sometimes you can see if uh, csv doesn't work you can try xml or you can try json uh, as well whichever works up uh, works best and one other thing i actually for the slearningschool.com or the database of the ebooks i think ebooks archive.com i had a database uh, i accessed access that using php my admin and i exported uh, the corresponding table into um, into a csv file and then i uploaded the csv file into sites.com and that's how it uh, went and another note is actually uh the table uh, didn't have all the data in it as uh, as it is uh, at it should be because usually in database i think the categories and sub categories i usually have them as an id right the main articles table or the main uh, ebook database table it uh, might i think for the normalization reason we do not keep the category name in it we usually keep the category id and sub category id and or probably in a different table we keep our article id and category category id or article id sub category id that's how we keep it so to address this challenge so that i don't uh, so that the sites.com or the import process can import all the information at once what i did is i i created a view i created a view with all the uh, elements i need or the fields i need and then from those corresponding tables i exported those uh, i just uh, inserted all those data into this view and then i uh, created the csv file or xml file from this view i think i i had one another challenge uh, actually what happened is i used php my admin and what happened is rather than creating the view you might you might be thinking okay you can just write the join sql and output of the sql you could export to csv file or xml file or json file and that that could be used yeah sure i actually tried that thing but what happened is for some reason it didn't work for me somehow when i was uh, importing um somehow when i was importing i was not uh, getting the correct number of uh, rows probably um, i might have to do some other uh, other things uh, um, for 
to to address that issue but i actually did not uh, dig deeper what are, what, what are going on and another thing is when you are exporting to csv it might be a good idea to keep the column name in the csv file or in the xml file the table field name if it is part of the csv or xml it will help you in the import process yeah i have told a lot probably i can show you yeah just so that you understand it little bit yeah, ideally i could uh, i could create a, a powerpoint presentation slide and i could list all the stuff i thought i will uh, create that while i go uh, oh, while I'm, I'm creating this video but looks like my system for some reason is being slow and this active presenter sometimes uh, it doesn't work well if there is less memory or it, it probably is video recording so it probably needs some uh, good amount of memory and it's an open source probably uh, not in the best possible uh, uh, state so yeah probably they might have more stuff to do for the software active presenter so sometimes i i had issues that i record the entire video then it doesn't work and my uh, all the time is wasted right anyway that's why i'm not creating it but yeah i give you the overview and then i will uh, i will show you so this is the database that i am using let's say these articles it has all the um, article for the slrnschool.com you are thinking here online services cloud.com actually here the database is there and uh, slrnschool.com it's a add-on domain on online services cloud.com internally and they can uh, share the same uh, database because they are on the same server yeah the configuration is like that anyway that's not the main point so you can see in the php my storm you can do the export then you have the option you can see php array json code generation media wiki table csv for ms xml so you can export this data in in different format so uh, the xml can be a good option and json can be a good option and csv for ms xml csv for ms excel that can be a good option you can use little bit of customization yeah this is important put column names in the first row you can see what what you want to use in terms of uh, the output file name or yeah what is the separation character as I told CSV for uh, Excel let's say there should be a general CSV character set compression yeah this is what I was trying to find out column separated with comma columns and close to it double quote columns is kept with double quote yeah you can try to do it here i think i believe i used this csv other than the excel csv both of them should work if not try the other one and probably you need to understand anyway uh, okay so yeah that is uh, the straightforward the table but one thing is in this case actual article id or sub sub article uh, sub sorry category id or article category id those will be just the number but you can join it with category table or sub category table uh, to create the to bring the names a uh, name in them as i told you can create a view and insert all this data into that view and then export that view yeah i think 
for this as a learning school i think it uh, i did it first so i probably did not uh, create the view uh, initially it was uh, yeah but for the other ones yeah i created the view and i went from there okay this is the database for the books and actually here i can see the category and subcategory name already there but uh, so if i remember i also created a view and edited something I'm not sure for which one but anyway i think uh, depending on the situation you can do it or another thing is it looks like i have the database here it might be the case i had uh, used the database from other places actually this is not the only my database place sometimes i keep the database as part of the uh, domain i think domain control panel so i have to see i probably had to check the corresponding uh, web page and then php file and say the configuration I, I took it from there but looks like yeah I, I created the view for one of the cases anyway but if you have this uh, already but uh, i think for uh, different cases this may not be the um, best approach to keep the category and subcategory as part of the main article table or uh, book information table just uh, just to say anyway so you know it right you can you can do the export and those things here anyway let's say so now you know how to export into csv file or xml file now i can show you how i uh, the import process worked for size tree.com okay mm, this is the plugin all import i can show the manage imports i think the yeah i think if you want to re-execute you can do that for sure you can just little bit customize and uh, re-execute in that case the old entries will be deleted and recreated or refreshed depending okay you can see there are some uh, imports here articles articles book database articles let me see okay you can see xml and edit import so you can see i think it was the uh, csv entry import csv entry and then uh, i think this is where i had to map Think title and content i put uh, book title as the title for this uh, okay this looks like the uh, book import Yeah, I just did a little bit of formatting. Just book title on any strong and then the URL, just the book name and then corresponding stuff. I think if you go to the size.com you will see in this format. Yeah, book title one. Yeah, this is the, this this one. Yeah, if you if you just drag and drop it will uh, show excerpt. There is no excerpt here, but for other stuff I put short articles as the excerpt you can see you can actually drag and drop anyway this is not relevant for me so advanced options keep line breaks from file decode HTML entities with HTML entity decode yeah if uh, if in the imported file 
if you see the HTML codes are there, then you can you may want to images. You can use your media library images or import them. Okay, you can see images. You can. Uh, Import images, you need the pro version. So categories, yeah for me what I did, hierarchical categories, online books, so it will create online books and this category, this subcategory separated by comma. you might have to use add another row i think probably there will be only one here then one row and one row category subcategory tag yeah i use category and subcategory as the tab post status you can directly publish or you can first bring as a draft and then date date inserted <laughs> yeah this one here <coughs> comments I keep them open for this post author yeah I think I probably had set it posted by Rofik it looks like in the original site it probably I did it or someone named Rofik he did it but in the this one showed here site Ahmed I might have inserted as a as the other uh, user finally he might have done majority of this stuff though I have in the beginning I did a lot I think for the other for the original site yeah operator ID I think that that is a place improvement so you know how it works you don't need to click on this uh, it is just showing you in terms of you just need to map, one, map once this is the mapping for the um, articles you can see it excerpt I could use the article short description it can be empty probably that's I didn't use Okay, this is the same. Let's see how do we do from here. So you see, upload a file, download from URL use existing file let's see yeah usually you'll be uploading a file when you export it and then from you export from your data data sources you need to upload here and then you can go from there 
I'm just trying to save especially um, I'm more interested to show you the XML thing okay I probably have to use the they probably are telling I, have, I need WP all import the pro version for this let's save upload a file let's say I am uploading a file I hope this is the one that I used in January 1st January okay let me try this one yeah, I will guide you step by step yeah, I'm doing the XML because the CSV probably are you will be more familiar with CSV or CSV will be more straightforward I uh, think you might get uh, mm, confused sometimes looks like when I uh, initially tried to use uh, XML it showed me probably many thousand entries instead of 2000 or 600 depending on which one I tried it actually for each of the individual uh, tags initially it was counting it but you have to uh, use that table table I think yeah each of the stuff each of the item should uh, should be one table so if your original database has 600 rows it should be 600 table but you might it might show you uh, way more than that if it is just per item or uh, yeah probably let's say 600 row and if you have 10 columns then six or six thousand so it might initially show six thousand entries it was not six thousand we have to see the type of stuff that you are seeing let me see if, if i I so you see it 3842 column don't get confused just by seeing this part see this part as well table now you know how many entries are there so you see it 1 of 226 yeah I'm not sure this is the final uh, file that I used in case I think the example is there I have to say the file is there it probably was not the actual file that I used because um, or it probably is showing uh, less number of rows than it is supposed to be because the articles I probably had brought uh, between more than 600 for sure and more than 2000 for the other one anyway in the next step you just have to map the So yeah, it is the same thing. Now you have to uh, drag and drop there. Okay, so you can see the column went there. Okay. Yeah, you can drag actually the name as well, but we don't know we don't want the name. So we want the content. Okay, then you have to go step by step. Okay, you can do it for sure now.
Okay, that's the electronics shop. What else I can show? For now, for this video, that's all. So this one should expire. This is learningschool.com. I'll probably keep just a read-only archive copy with some excerpt. Okay, bye bye. Yeah, by default, image is turned off. Anyway, bye bye.